welcome back to the channel. I don't know where to look. Okay, I got all ready <laughs> to film today and got everything kind of all set up. Turned on my camera, no memory card. I have two cameras here, four batteries, lights, tripods, no memory cards. <laughs> They're all at home. So we're not gonna let that slow us down. I am using my phone. So again, I'm like weirdly not knowing where to look and the sound is probably gonna be a little bit funny. The picture might be a little bit funny. Does anybody else have an iPhone 11? Because the camera on this thing sucks. I'm always cleaning the lens, thinking that's why it looks a little foggy. And I don't think that's it. It's just, a, the camera on this phone is definitely worse than the camera on my 10. I think I had 10 or whatever that was called. Whatever. Okay. So the mission today, we're on a mission. I need to clean out drawers. I need more storage in here by a fair amount. I essentially need to be able to have one full, whoa, let's see if I can move you. One full drawer because these are doors and these are drawers. I need to be able to have, I'm going to be fair and say two of these and one of these empty. They need to be empty. I need to use them for something else. What else am I using them for? A new service that's coming to liquid chrome nails. Uh, might end up being liquid chrome cosmetics. Things may be changing. I'll keep you in the loop when I know you'll know. So, trying to make sure you don't fall off of it. I have two decent sized boxes here. One of them is a take home box because I do have a lot of stuff here from um, panic pandemic mode. So I have everything here that I used for making press on nails. It doesn't need to be here anymore. Uh, there are some things I'd like to keep here like the tips for practice and for videos, but I don't need all of them. I don't need a selection of like 18 boxes. I also don't need, like I have a lot of, um, in this cabinet, I have a lot of sets of nails that don't need to be here uh, at all. So I'm going to go through some of those. Some of them, it's prom time. Some of them I'm giving away. Some of them I will never give away. Um, because I spent so much time on them and they're so intricate. But there's candles in here. Um, that's where the Swiffer wet jet things are. There's just so many things. You know, in here I have my acrylic. I have protein. I have tea. I have cans of soup. I have a Bluetooth speaker. So that's just the beginnings of what I can see. And you guys have been with me, those of you that have been with me for any amount of time, you have seen me clean this stuff out before. This is not like that clean out. This is ruthless. And I'm going to do it in sections. So I'm going to be in and out of the video because I, myself, if I try to do this all in one big swath, I'm not going to be as ruthless as I need to be. So I'm feeling like if I do it in sections, it will be so much easier. So take home box, a garbage box. I am also then going to head to the dollar store um, because I want storage containers, uh, plastic containers, which I also actually have a few Ikea ones within that once I'm cleaned out, um, I will have some empty Ikea ones. I love them, they fit in the Alex Ross so good. I have a set of these smaller, like, you can't really see it, but this, smaller Alex drawers in my cart, along with some of their storage solutions that I love, I already have, uh, but they won't, it doesn't say out of stock, but they won't like ship the Alex drawers right now. Um, so they're all just in my cart. Uh, I might be able to get away with not getting them. I was so set ready to order them yesterday and then when it wouldn't ship them I kind of maybe found a different way. Not sure. Um, not sure. I'm, I'm gonna just clean out. I'm also going to clean out like you guys have seen me clean out the drawers over here but this time it is going to be different. There are things that are going to be eliminated entirely. 
so I don't know. Let's get started. So this is kind of like a, where I've been. I've been busy. I've been taking classes. Um, like I said, I am going to add a service to the salon. Um, not taking away from the nails, adding to it, but in a different manner. I'm not at all done doing nails, but I am pivoting a little bit and just adding a service that I've always wanted to add. I finally took the leap. So just kind of looking around here, I already have a box of things to give away. So that's kind of exciting. <laughs> um, things are, things are going to get messy. A clean out is always fun, always rewarding, but never actually fun in the moment. It's dusty, it's dirty, I already have like dust in my eye. I've only been doing this for five minutes, so. You better send me some light here. Okay, so it's a couple days later and here we go. So back in that corner, there used to be a laundry hamper, like a gray and white, it's really pretty. Um, but it doesn't need to be here. I don't actually use any laundry anymore. I don't use any towels anymore here. So, and I have it for a while. It was storage. It kept, um, it kept a lot of my camera gear as well as like some random cleaning supplies. Um, that's where I would keep my, I have a little mini Dyson and <clears throat> like my, my camera cases and stuff. So that's where that would be. So I already kind of have a box started. There was a couple of little cords there for things that I don't even own anymore. And there was um, a couple of cases for like the ring lights. And I, when I do travel the ring lights, which is like once or twice a year, I don't, I don't use those cases. They end up, they just collect so much dust that you can't even clean them. So no, there's no sense in them being here. So I have two boxes out, one with home written on them. I think I already showed you this in the very beginning on the cell phone footage and one with garbage. So those of you that have been here for a minute have seen me already do this. Um, this is not the same. This is going to be so much more ruthless and because at least one half of this needs to be totally and entirely empty. So. We're going to make that happen. Also, where did I put it? Out there. I bought um, a cart because I wanted to buy one from Ikea, but it was saying it was unavailable to ship all of my order, so it wasn't worth... Like, the cart was $49, which, cool, that's awesome, but... The shipping was going to be $30, so by the time, it just didn't work out. So I did get a cart. I got it at Canadian Tire. Um, it's fine. It's, it's literally the same. I just kind of thought I would like the Ikea one because they're fun. But let's just begin. I have got tea. Okay, so there's like four things of tea left. I have two cups that I use for random stuff. I keep cans of soup here because sometimes you don't bring lunch and you need it. So right now I have two cans of soup here, garbage bags. These are meant for storage, so obviously they're getting prepped. More tea. It's expired. I'm not surprised. More tea. I go between tea and coffee. And when I'm drinking tea, I just leave it here. Just before September. I'm sure it's fine. So we'll keep that. I might put that out just in the kitchen part. Empty. Sometimes I leave the empties because I um, do plan on refilling them and then I'm just kind of not working like that anymore. I am just working out of the gallon jugs from under the sink, so cool. So the alcohol and the barbicide, which I don't use much of anymore, to be honest. Does this have an expiration date on it? No seem to. Anyway, I uh, I don't use it much. 
Um, these virtual sticks I'm actually going to take home uh, because I love them for waxing my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna set them up there. Oh my gosh, these files. Okay, so these are my backup files. So I am going to keep them because they are my backups. Like these are the ones I use. I'm going to vacuum for a second. So another can of soup, that makes two. These are scented things that I use in my melter outside the door. These are currently what I'm using. File for the spares. Wine glass, I tend to use it for like propagating plants. And <laughs> I'm not drinking wine at work, don't worry. Scented, um, that's like a current scented spray that I'm using. This is a speaker that needs to go home. I haven't been using that since I got my Amazon device. This this is another candle for here, but I'm gonna take it home because this is a scent better suited for the camp. Um, three little jars that I'm going to keep here for right now to see if I need them for anything when I'm going through like the rearrange. If not, I can take them home. And sometimes I uh, like to make tea. Um, this is going home. And uh, give it as gifts to people. So those are cute little jars to make tea with. Um, little gift bag. I'm gonna leave that because I may actually end up like gifting some of this stuff to people. Uh, I have a base coat and a peach primer from Artistic that are both brand new. Um, I have a CND pink sculpting powder. That can go home until it's like needed, I think. Wait, just a second. God, I just had this moment of, oh my God, am I not recording? Um, this can go home, the white. The pink, no, the pink can go home. If ever I'm in that big of a mind, I can run home and get it. The Glitter Bells monomer, of course, will stay here. This candle, same thing. I think that's a scent better suited for the camp. Um, current liquid, I'm just gonna take the packaging off of it. It may as well go out for the garbage now as later. Um, wax strips that I was using a little bit for wipes, like you can cut them up and they're great lint-free wipes, not using them. Not using them. Um, Apex kit. Um, this was one of my first YouTube videos, was me using this Apex kit and showing you guys what it was like. I said it was going to be ruthless. I said it was going to be ruthless. Um, a prey blending fluid. So this is actually what? Alcohol and acetone. Mm, we're going to mix that in with my alcohol because I'm not going to dump it out if it's useful, but I don't need to keep it. I'm not using those a prey inks. I find that they're wickedly hard to use. Um, artistic liquid and powder. Nude conceal. Oh. Ruthless, absolute FX, pastel FX mixing powder. If you know, you know. This is back in my OPI days. I've had this for almost 20 years. It's gotta go. The shelf is freaking empty, y'all. Um, so, okay, so this is from like a decade of keeping monomer on a shelf. So I think, I think I'm going to wipe that off and wipe this out and I might, I might flip that shelf right over because it's in terrible shape. Um, I think I just might do that. I'm just going to grab some like Lysol wipes to have over here to be able to use catch you up on what's actually going on because to be honest I'm not sure that I have and it's been so busy that yeah I don't know 
I am adding to my services here at the salon. I am adding permanent makeup in the form of, oh, that's so much better, lips. So I am going to be doing lip blushing and I'm going to be offering that as a service soon. I have been through my training and I'm doing some, okay, sorry. I don't know where I was with that, but I am offering like my free free services right now, practice services. And um, after that, I will be offering a few um, low cost services for a little bit. And then I'll be smooth sailing. This is in addition to nails. This is not in replacement to nails. This is something I've wanted to do for a really long time. And I finally just decided that it was the time. So here we are. <laughs> funny I actually started planning this um like when the pandemic hit I decided I just had wanted to do it for a really long time and that I just should like I just should go ahead and 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 start it because well obviously a lot of things changed so it was uh something that I wanted to add in addition to what I already do and um in time I don't want to be doing only lips. I would like to be doing paramedical, so I want to be helping people with scars, um, mostly scars, um, radiation markers, things like that. So you are now up to date with what has been going on. So I'm putting the, acry the acrylic on one side and the food on the other. I'm sure that's a wonderful idea. Okay, so the alcohol, all of that goes under the sink. These little jars stay out. These two little cups get washed along with the wine glass and the mason jar. We'll find a new home for those. They don't need to be in there. I'm gonna put in the base gel and the balancing primer. Also, the garbage bags are just like sliding with the food. That's where I've always kind of kept them and it's just easy to reach in and grab them. Um, these two guys, I'm going to leave out as well because they are storage, so we're going to figure out uh, what's going to happen there. So the first thing I guess that I have that is to do with the tattooing is the cling wrap. <laughs> well, that's complicated. Okay, so I'm just going to put that in there because that is something I need. I'm wrapping things so that they stay clean throughout the service and the cleanup. All right, we're gonna start on the second drawer, which is a, a bit more of a cluster. Let me know if you guys like these real-time cleaning and organizing. I think you do, I feel like you do. Um, Kleenex, I keep them in here because I do make so much dust. I'm gonna put those with the tattooing stuff just for the moment. I have a Tarte Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. I use this sometimes when I'm here and like my skin gets really dry. And Pink Surf Days Hair and Body Mist. This is probably old as the hills, but it still smells amazing. So I have kept both because I do really like them. I'm gonna set them up with the other scented stuff because I'm not, I, I need like a personal drawer somewhere and I'm not entirely sure yet where that's gonna be, but that may actually be like the food too, where that goes at the end of the day. Again, we'll see. Um, a candle that is just about burnt out. We're gonna pitch that. A East Coast, East Coast Soap Company Spiced Coffee Cake Soy Candle. Oh, I love that one. But I am gonna take it home because, because we're being ruthless, y'all. Yeah. This is a Scorpio, a Scorpio water candle. Again, um, a book that I brought for a client to borrow, so I'm going to leave that. My Danico all-purpose plastic liners. Uh, I'm gonna leave these. I use these for just the randomest things. Um, some Christmas decorations. It's June. Oh, cap off of something. I'm constantly taking caps off of some things. Don't need it. Garbage. A mason jar with some swatches in it. I have swatches in my other drawer and that is where they should be. Oh, an ugly duckling odorless acrylic monomer. That's one thing after all these years of, of making um, 
acrylic nail products that nobody, not just Ugly Duckling, <laughs> can seem to do well. This is my red iguana hand. You guys know that I have a liquid chrome um, version of these hands. But I also have my red iguana because I had ordered it years ago and it still is my first baby. Uh, so I, of course, will keep that. Uh, these are press-on nails. So this is something that I've been like, like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do with these? I made press-on nails during the pandemic. And I still have them. That's an empty box. But they have my liquid chrome sticker on them. And I'm like, not only what do I do with the press on nails, but what do I do with the empty boxes? So I have, I mean, I can probably use them a little bit for storage, depending. I don't know. I can hear one rocking around in there. It is prom time. I could post them for sale. The thing about it is, is you get into like, I want them, but I want a different color and they don't fit. And I'm, I'm not playing that game. So I don't know. We're gonna think about those later because that is that's something I just don't want to cross. This is um, bills. Like I kept it to put um, bills in, but now we're doing it through email. So I probably just don't need this here. Um, but it does have like tax records records in it of what I've spent. So I'm going to keep it. I have this little satchel, and it has. Oh, right, little cards in it, they're blank. I'm going to take those back home. I was using them at one time, but. And then I have this little satchel. I've actually had it for quite a while, it's super cute. Um, I don't I don't really know what to do with it. So, we're gonna take it home. Um, these are some things for the store next door. These files are awful. And I've been hanging on to them because I want to throw them out because I don't want to be wasteful. But you can't even give these away. They're awful. They're awful. I mean, you might be able to use them for a foot file. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll keep a couple of them, but they gotta go. The empty boxes. I'm, I'm gonna let them go. Ruthless. I need to keep doing that to myself. Ruthless. They'll be ruthless. My garbage box is getting full. Swiffer wet thingies keeping obviously. I have a client that does feet. I might present those to her. Oh my god, this little lamp. It really doesn't work. Like it's open-ended. I paid way too much money for it at the time. Coin rollers. And rolled coin. I should take that home. For a while, I just, I don't know, I got into the process of like keeping coins and it just got out of hand. Okay, a Ziploc bag. I mean, I wouldn't use it for anything that needed to be like super clean or anything, but it's a Ziploc bag and I can use it for something. Oh my God, here we go. You guys that have been here, you know. I have been through this bag every time I do a clean out. Every time I do a clean out, I go through this bag and I'm like, oh, I don't want to throw it out. I better keep it. I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. And maybe I should give it away. And why am I going to give it away? Literally everyone I know has the same thing in their junk drawer and not even they can get rid of it. So why am I going to keep it? Okay. Batteries. Well, obviously. I'm going to keep those. A light bulb, a four watt itty bitty light bulb. What are we using those for? Do we know? We don't know. I've had it for a decade. Um, there was glitter in here at some point. I have like sinkers and screws. Apparently screws are expensive now. I have a Mexico shop glass and I know exactly who gave this to me, so I'm keeping it. A questionable pencil in the bottom of the bag. Um, So first of all, pewter, liquid, and powder, oh my god. Pewter, liquid, and powder toppers. When I worked with OPI, those are sentimental and I am keeping them. Calligraphy pen, don't need it. Elastic, nope. Lead for a pencil that looks like it could 
Like that's huge. Little scissory things that are starting to rust. No, no, no. Sharpie? No. Paintbrush. Two sets of tweezers, like long tweezers. Sharpie, Sharpie, nice paintbrush. Okay, 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 oh, okay, okay. That went to hell. So the Sharpies and stuff, what time is that, 10? The Sharpies and stuff, I do have one client today. Tech tape, of course, for keeping that. Cause it's prom time, y'all. Oh my God, Sharpie, Sharpie, no. I mean, yeah. Dotting tool, I have a bunch that is filthy. No, no, but yeah, yeah, and yeah. I have actually need some of those little silicone tools, but I don't need that one. Sharpie, Sharpie. Gel polish brush that's bent. Oh, ombre brush that's bent. No, no, yes. Hey guys. Okay, I'm just getting in. It's 7 a.m. shortly after. Um, I got my cart ready yesterday. Let me show you. I'm not, it, like, it's not, like, filled yet, but it's ready. So, I have all of these, which I'm not even sure if they're staying here or if these are going to go in the drawers, but they're cute. They were, like, a buck twenty-five each. So, I have four of that size. I have two of this longer, narrow size. And then I have two of like a larger size. And I do have a couple of these glass ones. I did just set them here, we'll see. But the cart, I'm super happy with because this is what, this is what I wanna work out of. So, you're falling over. <laughs> don't, why, I don't know. This silly thing's been a mystery to me since I got it. Okay, so. I want to work out of this. Like, I want to use this as my home base, so I'll have my machine and everything up here. And also, this is like, I'm always scared when I move because I don't have a wireless machine yet that my machine is going to come flying off of here. Um, so I think it's really important that there is a lip here, so to speak. It is seven. I do have my iced coffee. And I actually made it this morning. So yesterday morning, I made my, Sunday morning, I was going away with a friend. I made my coffee. Like I had two different creamers, so I was finishing off one creamer and starting a new one. It was spoiled. So like floaties on the top. And I was like, it's okay. It's okay. I'm meeting her in town. I'll go to Tim Hortons. I get to Tim Hortons. I get my iced coffee, which is fine. Also, what do they put in that? I never drink that. I bring it from home every single day. What is in that? That's not just caffeine. Um, but I, I get the coffee, you know, I'm, I'm praying to the gods that it's not gonna upset my stomach. It's fine, I forgot my water. I drink four gallons of water a day. Anyway, <laughs> I got a bottle of water, it was fine. But then the next morning, yesterday morning, I go to come in here, it's, it's prom day. Um, I have I have a prom girl, and it wasn't like crazy prom for me, just a little bit of prom. And I make my coffee with the new creamer because it's the one that's spoiled. So I have to go to Tim Hortons again yesterday morning. Anyway, that's the most I've been to Tim Hortons on my own, like in my vehicle. Um, my boyfriend goes 25 times a day, but that's literally the most I've gone in two consecutive days in a row in 10 years or more. Anyway, I would like to continue on this process today. Okay, I don't have as big of a break as I thought I did. But I do have a break today, but there is something I would like to go do with that break. So when I come back, we'll see what kind of time I have. And then on Thursday, so today's Tuesday, on Thursday, I actually will also have some time. I think I might be able to wrap it up. I was happy to be able to kind of really get cleaned up yesterday. Like I don't have a bunch of stuff hanging around. I have press-on nails that, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. I was I was trying to figure out what I was gonna do with these press-on nails. I really, 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 really didn't want the bother of selling them because it's like, well, they don't fit me and that's not the right color and I do have them in another length. No, 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 there are already none. I just didn't feel like that was going to be a good use of time. So, why I didn't think about this. I have a client 
that is part of a program, um, and I don't know the specifics of it, so I might get this wrong, but they, you are able to um, put yourself on the list to get a, um, a dress and like hair and makeup and all that um, at free of charge or low cost for prom. So it's this program that they're doing. So I was like, hello. Anyway, so her next nail appointment, she's taking those with her and they will be used for next year's prom for girls that maybe aren't able to get their nails done. So that makes me super happy. And actually, I think that might be something going forward um, that I'll talk to them about uh, maybe carrying on because I mean, that's kind of fun. I have 20 minutes before my client gets here. This is what I do. I sit here and drink my iced coffee, which is good today. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of I'm Tearing My Life Apart. <laughs> You've seen what you've seen. I got that done, sort of. Oh wow, you are really crooked. Can't fix it. Okay. And now I am filling up a box with, I have an entire drawer of small jars of acrylic that are mostly full. Some of them are mixed, some of them are originals. Um, they're all beautiful. I do have some swatches of them that I did make once upon a time. I find it really kind of difficult to swatch acrylic, but I did make the swatches. Swatches will go with it. I'm gonna put these for sale. I purchased them all together as a lot and I'd like to see them go as a lot. Put them on my Instagram. It'll be a bit before you're seeing this, but I would I would like them all to go together. I am gonna box these up and get them ready to go. It's been a roller coaster, but you stayed, and now I'm taking over. Cause I can be what you wanna be And I can feel but you love for me Take me to a place I'm calling for Open up the doors I'm knocking on oh, 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 oh. I'm losing control oh, oh, oh. Okay, so now that that part is done Let me move you a little bit my chair way low because I'm trying to get in and out of drawers and sometimes it's easier so I have these two bottom drawers now that used to have the press on stuff in them and they no longer do they now are going to be the home of the tattooing the lip blush practice stuff so I'm keeping my practice gun my practice equipment and my practice skins needles, tools, all separately from the sterilized, sanitized, disinfected things that I will be using on my clients. So everything will be kept separately, uh, which I just think is easier. It's just so much easier to keep it separately. And oh, I am going to bring the tote of things over and start organizing the practice stuff just to see what needs to come out of there and into the practice stuff. Hey guys, welcome back. I am going to uh, close out this vlog here, but I did want to show you first how I managed with the drawers that I cleaned out. So did pretty good. Got the tips that I'm gonna leave here. Didn't do that drawer. Didn't do the other drawer. I am ready to do some tattooing tomorrow. So I have set up what I can here, and this is going to be like my moving cart to be able to do what I need to do. And I also got this totally cleaned out, so all of my tattooing stuff is in there. It's not fully arranged just because I feel like you can't do that until you're working with it. Like once I start working with it, I can then easier, to move stuff around and figure out what needs to be at the forefront and what can be put behind. So, like I said, I'm gonna close this vlog out here. I am, it's Saturday and I'm working today for another couple of hours and then I will be cleaning, totally moving the room around and setting up for my tattooing client on Sunday. See you later, don't forget to subscribe.